to just leave it to God when you carry it with you every single day. But just practice these words that I practice so often in my life. Here you go, God. It's yours. I've been trying so hard to change it. I've been trying so hard to rearrange it. I've been trying. Know that when you post on social media and your posts don't get a lot of traction or you feel like you put so much effort into your content and not many people are tapped in or you look at other content creators and you feel like, man, they're not doing as much as you are and they're getting more recognition. You just feel like they're socials or their platforms are doing better than yours i just want to give you a little bit of encouragement i feel like i put a lot into my content and sometimes like i do feel like wow like it's not you know like reaching or the reach isn't there or the engagement isn't there or whatever the case is and then i have to remind myself like there was a time when i wanted this like i'm gonna work hard towards this goal and now that i'm like at that goal like i'm i feel like i'm always like, okay, what's next? What's next? Instead of like appreciating where I am right now. Sometimes God will do things like that where he feels like, okay, he blessed you with something or he got you to a place and you're still not happy with what has already been given to you. And so it's like, if I give you more, you're just going to reach for more. Like you're never going to be satisfied. You're never going to be happy. And it doesn't mean that you need to settle. It doesn't mean that when you get to a certain place that you just need to be like, okay, this is it. Like this is, you know, I made it to where I always said I wanted to be. This is it. I'm not going to strive for better. No, it doesn't mean that. It just means that when you get to that place, express gratitude, show gratitude for your current circumstances and your current situation and where you are in your journey. And when you move on to the next phase in your journey, you will continue to be appreciative. You'll continue to be. Good morning. How my beautiful queens and handsome kings doing this morning? How you all doing? Welcome to another day and another vlog. Um, my morning been really good up so far. I end up listening to a pop, well, you might well say a podcast, um, a YouTube video, um, encouraging YouTube video, as well as I did my um, morning devotion. And I just wanted to, um, you all have to excuse my background. I told y'all in the past that I have to hang my uh, clothes sometimes up on my door or whatever to dry since I don't have a dryer but um I just kind of wanted to reach out and say this I know even um with the journey that I'm going on I'm starting to feel like you know not everybody is really just meant to understand you know my, how great you know my personality as a person meaning that you know, the journey that I'm headed to is not meant for everyone to understand. And you all know I mentioned this in the past. And the reason why I say this, um, because I noticed um, I was checking my YouTube studio. And like I said, I enjoy doing YouTube, you know. Um, it's kind of like therapeutic for me. I look at it as, you know, I tell you all in the past, I like creating memories and stuff like that. And it was showing how I had gained two subscribers off a video that I just posted that just went live and like I tell you all when I come on camera this is me being my real true authentic self and I know this with people like they'll probably tune in meaning like I have had people subscribe to my channel and then I guess maybe when they look at some of my content they tune out or unsubscribe because the studio did have mentioned that I had gained three subscribers yesterday it said I had 109 but then when I went back to recheck it it said I'm at 108 but I'm learning and I'll be watching I am Shelly video y'all know I talk about her a lot she's one of my favorite youtubers and so many that I watch that been doing this longer than me and this one particular video that she posted her night routine I kind of most of the time, I constantly go back and rewatch that same video and, you know, just keep really just listening to what she's saying and telling her audience. And then I have to feed that into my spirit and, and to let me know to keep going regardless of if a person accept me or not, you know, on this platform. Because I know YouTube is a, you know, a major platform. And I was saying to myself, I'm not going to let because the people decide that they don't want to, you know, if they subscribe or unsubscribe. I'm just going to appreciate the people that are choosing um, to stay on this journey with me because for one thing about me, I don't pretend to be something that I'm not. 
um, you know, these days that I'm recording that you all see are realistic days in my life. Um, not every day going to be um, sunny, just like not every day going to be gloomy, and that's just realistic. I know this with social media, people, um, people just so used to seeing people probably go out a lot or, you know, showing you, you know, the merchandise, um, like, you know, their valuables and stuff like that, which is nothing wrong with, you know, uh, if you have came a long way in life and you, you know, bought you a new house or car and then they kind of, it seems like others will look down on ones that probably don't have all these, you know, um, necessities in their life, you know, if they have a car or whatever. And so, like I tell y'all, I would rather be real and for people to tune out than me coming on this camera and being fake and, you know, just to, for um, gain, you know, gain subscribers. And I was listening to, which I'm going to include that footage and um, the video of I Am Shelly because I was watching the video before I tuned in. I would rather for, um, you know, she was mentioning that not everyone is ready to receive your greatness. So maybe God is protecting you from bad spirits, you know. He knows the people that's meant to um, join your community and, you know, the people that your content is um, meant to be for. You know, not everybody ready to receive your spirit, your good spirit. And that really been touching and it's really touched me because sometimes when I be feeling like, you know, um, I'm studying, you know, I gain a, a subscriber, then I lose a subscriber, I gain a subscriber, I lose a subscriber. But at the same time, I'm very thankful for where I'm at because I have came a long way doing this. Like I said, this um, this will be going just two years now in the making since I've been going strong on this platform. And I would rather to continue to be myself on here than to pretend to be something that I'm not just to, you know, just for views or just for people to join the China. Then when people are unsure about me, they tune out, you know. And I had to say that because, you know, it's, I know it's a lot of new creators that's doing this as well. And I, I have followed, like, I follow a lot of people that's new, too, that's doing this. And one young lady that I watch, she's very encouraging. I have watched a couple of her videos as well. And she mentioned, I got to get her name because she followed, she followed me. And sometimes she's commented on some of my videos. And she'd be saying she liked the messages that I preach in my videos that she knows is as a new creator it's hard you know on this platform to grow you know because there's so many people that's doing this that have been doing it for years or maybe when they you know was younger and i'm just like i say i'm just learning every day to be appreciative i appreciate like i say i, I know i cannot thank you all enough but i just appreciate you all just you know just tuning in every time i you know upload a video or those of you that you know, respond back and comment. I just appreciate you all because that really what helps me keep going, which I'm going to keep going anyway. But I'm not going to let people energy stop me from doing what God has called me to do. You know, it's the same way in, in reality in my life. I have lost people because of my personality. And so if I feel like I have to be fake just to let people stay into my life, then I'd rather for a person tune out because... What you see is what you give with me. This how I am on camera, that's how I am in real life. You know, if I if I can't uplift someone and encourage someone, I'd rather not say nothing at all. They used to, I know it used to be a saying say if you never have nothing nice to say, then don't say nothing at all. But yeah, it, it really kinda touched me because I was like, you know, I don't know if, if it could be a YouTube thing or people just really, you know, unsure they'll subscribe and then they go back and watch videos and unsubscribe. But I just gotta let it be. I can't really be myself up about it. Like I be encouraging my uh, friend. I'll tell y'all about one of my um friends that I've been going to high I went to high school with. She actually a YouTuber as well. And I'll be telling her to keep going, you know, because she, me and her sometimes talk from time to time. And she was talking about how her channel, how she have lost subscribers as well. But I told her, you know, you got to keep going. You can't let, um, because the people tune now, stop you from, you know, this something you have a passion for. You know, that's the same way. Like, I look at YouTube even as, like, when I was going to college. The devil, because like I said, the devil is busy anyway. He finding all type of forms to kill, steal, and destroy, whatever you choose to do. 
So I would tell her, like when I was going to college, it was some times where I would get discouraged, but I never let it stop me from working hard towards getting that, that degree. So that's how I look at even with YouTube, that I'm going to keep pushing regardless of a person cho choose to follow me on my journey where they tune out. I'm going to just continue to still go strong for those who've been rocking with me since the beginning and those who've been rocking me, you know, for a while now. I have to show up for those people, you know, because these the ones that continue to um, motivate me more to keep going, you know. And I would tell her, you know, keep going, you know, don't don't let cause of people tuning out and unsubscribing. And the way I feel about it, I would rather for a person to unsubscribe to, to, to disrespect me. Cause one thing about me, I would tolerate, I would not tolerate disrespect from no one. So I would rather for a person if they unsure about me or they, you know, they not um, don't like what I post or something. I would rather for a person to tune out. That's how I am. Even with my life, you know, I, I I will not tolerate disrespect from no one. But, yeah, I just wanted to come in and, you know, um, say that. And, you know, like I said, it's been a great morning up so far. Um, I did get a, a call from my coworker. She was saying um, that, you know, it's just always something. With the with this job, I even even with the job, I have to keep myself uplifting and stay motivated. Cause even with the job, it's starting to become a little stressful. And I know this, like with the job, like I had the schedule now. I'm finna show y'all, cause every time I get my schedule, see this is the app right here. It's probably right for y'all. See that's the app, and it usually will tell me what days I'm scheduled to work. And so, today is Monday the 16th, October the 16th, okay, now it's showing that I'm not scheduled to work, y'all, it's probably hard for y'all to see, cause I'm, see right here, it's showing that I'm not working, it's showing that I don't go back to work till the, to Tuesday the 17th, so, she said that my uh, supervisor told her that I do supposed to work. And I'm like, it's not showing up on there. It don't even, I just showed y'all from proof. It's not showing that I'm supposed to work today. And she was saying that I was supposed to come in this evening, but it don't even have a schedule for it. So, like I told her, I'm just going to go in. But even with the job, it's becoming a lot too. Because, you know, they hire me part-time. One minute they, they'll say they need me to uh, not go over my hours. But yet still... Y'all would schedule me these extra days. You know, it, it just I always so that's why I said the devil is busy, but I'm not gonna let him get get the best of me. That's why I had to start my mornings off. I was listening to Trent Shelton. I'm gonna include that footage in this video as well once I get it uploaded. I, you will literally lose yourself if you if you let the um enemy win, you know. Cause that's his job. He he try to, you know, get you discouraged when um you on the right path. And so, like I say, even with that, I'm going to just show up, but I'm, I, I text her and let her know that it was showing that I was off, you know, because there, there would be anybody with song. Because like I say, really, I'm tired anyway. I have worked all last week straight with no days off. You know, I'm really tired and a little drained. But like I say, I'm going to go in today and just get it over with, make the best out of it. But it, it, it's just really sad, y'all. It, it really is. But, um... Yeah, I'm not going to be ch ch chatting in too much. I just wanted to come in and start this vlog off. Hey, y'all, I'm back. Um, I'm just not getting ready. I told y'all earlier that I'm um, supposed to be going, coming in to work, even though I was scheduled not to go in today. So I just made my face up. I know one thing. My do This is my daughter, but I'm using this way. She be, Ma, you don't, you don't, you let me, you... You use my stuff, uh huh. Cause when you, I tell her, cause when you need something, you 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 always ask me. Uh, you got you want me to get you more mechanical pencils and stuff like that. So, like I told them. But um, yeah, I'm back, y'all, until I leave. Um, I've been, I was trying to. It still don't even look like I contour at all. Um, I think probably next week. Um, my next pay period. I probably do like a little makeup shopping from Walgreens. I might just go on and go, you know, because I do need to give me another eyeshadow palette um, and some more concealer. So, 
me put this in here. I usually have to put these little things in my shoes because they're supposed to help protect my feet. Yeah, y'all, yeah, I'm back. I just got a little lotion for my hands. But yeah, y'all, um, then y'all won't believe I just rechecked the YouTube st studio again. Now it's saying 109. I don't know. I, it, it, it is what it is. The message I mentioned earlier in the video, I mean by, you know, like I say, um, I don't know, like I, I was telling y'all earlier, if it's a YouTube thing or not, but I'm, like I say, I'm going to continue to work hard on, you know, growing on here. So, you know, my journey is meant for people to stay there, stay up not or well. But, um, yeah, I put that, because these shoes, I just got these shoes this year, and I feel like I'm working, I am worked the soul out of them already. But, y'all, when I say your girl is tired, I'm just, I'm just drained. When business started really getting slow, I think I'm a, um, it's a new hotel, because I end up going down there bad when, when I had went, when I told y'all I had did the, went out that day with my co-workers we all went out that night i think i'm gonna find out how much they rooms is the rates this when they get you know when business kind of slow down a little bit for me because I, I i just need to do a staycation somewhere you know but um yeah but yeah i want to start doing a contour contouring my face a little bit i was trying to do it in the mirror in the bathroom i know i didn't show y'all this have the plan to makeup but i do have more makeup videos coming soon this just was my looks just basic simple. Like I don't even have no eyeshadow. Um, but I I was mentioning earlier um, that I'm a, I'm thinking about going to Walgreens um, next yeah next week to uh, rack up on some makeup. Yeah, especially um, eyeshadow. I need another eyeshadow palette. I can't find the one I had. So I need eyeshadow palette, more concealer, and I do need another pencil. Because this pencil that I got on my eyebrows now, I probably look good on camera. It's really hard. It's like a light brown pencil that I had purchased from eBay. It's kind of, um, it'd be hard sometimes to apply. But I would pref I always prefer brown pencils than over um, black pencils. I don't know. I think brown just look more natural to me than, you know, using black. Because I have used, when I first started learning how to apply my makeup, I used to do, you know, pencils in black. But I think brown make it look more natural, as you all see. And, uh, this my little pink ribbon I got trying to, you know, represent since this, um, breast cancer awareness month. I was wishing I had a, a um, safety pin. I actually got, got it attached to my at the, uh, my at my little um what you call this id well not id name tag so it is what it is because i've been wearing it like this now for a couple weeks i end up having to slick my edges and stuff like that but i probably rock this ponytail for a little minute but it looked like since i've been using the meow hair growth oil um a little hair trying to come in i did start in my morning off i forgot to tell y'all earlier when i came in and tuned in the video that i did made me a warm cup of coffee it was so good that I had went back for a, a second coffee, but I did it ice. And so I pulled what was left over in the warm over into the ice cup. But I don't know. I just really have the game obsessed with making my own coffees at home. But like I say, I mean, I'm going because I find going to coffee shops very peaceful and stuff like that. And I do need to um, finish the book off. So I probably go to that coffee shop I was telling y'all back, while back in a couple videos back. I even, I've kind of forgot the video because I got so many up now. I forgot what video that was. Um, that was around the time when I first started working at this job. And I was in the training process. And I had went to this coffee shop. But that wasn't my first time going. So when I do go back, this be my third time. I love the service. The service is great there. Very friendly young women when they, you know, preparing the coffee. So I probably go there next week as well. And just sit down and have me a little warm cup of coffee. I probably, um, depending on how my schedule is, hopefully um, that day. It'd be an earlier day for me where I can actually do that. Because I do need to work on another um, video that I've been planning on doing. Because I know all this week is a, a, a very busy, just busy work week. I do need to try to get that video um, work on. I need to try to, I've been trying to come up with ideas on how I want to do it. It's gonna, I know for sure it's going to be a visual diary. I might just, you know, give y'all visuals and um, 
maybe play a little relaxing music. I kind of like videos like that, whereas to me, I always talking all the time or doing a voiceover. Sometimes I just kind of want y'all to get, you know, visuals or, and see how the day going by in the, the vlog. But yeah, y'all, I ain't going to be rambling too much. I'll be tuning back in. If not, if I don't talk to y'all today, which I know I'm not because I'm going to be getting off late at night. And when I come in, it'll be ready for me to take my shower and head to bed because I do have to be back at work in the morning at 6. So, But I'll be tuning in to, with you all. Y'all have a great rest of the day. Hey, y'all, I just got off the bus. Uh, just walked across the street about to head on to the workhouse. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not saying you girl tired. I might have to start back wearing my mask too, cause it's like every time when I ride these buses or come out in the air, I just get like nauseated or sick. You know, like feeling um going on. So I probably um, cause I need to stop at Walgreens tomorrow. I might end up trying to uh, see. Well, not I know for sure I ain't gonna be able to get no vitamins, but I probably just wait till next week and get some. It probably just make me some tea tonight. Pull this mask down, y'all. I haven't really been feeling good, but good evening. How my beautiful queens and handsome kings doing? How you all doing? Welcome to another day in the vlog. Um, as you all see, I'm wearing the mask. I just got off of work and I end up having to go to Walgreens and get some toilet paper. Um, it seems like I'm forever getting real low on toilet paper, real quick. I was telling y'all in the last vlog, I probably end up, um, probably try to start seeking out order it by cases um, see if um, Amazon have it where you can get it by cases but yeah uh, um, some of my water I don't know what's going on I just said I'm gonna wear my mask till I feel a little bit better I had got when I got uh, it's it saying when you have to be at work and you don't feel too good and I was sitting up here I had felt had like a fever and you know it, I don't understand people, you know, if you're sick and don't feel good, of course you're not going to have a happy face, smile on your face, even though you can't really see, you know, because the mask. It's just people just make big deals out of stuff. Like people supposed to be, um, have a Kool-Aid smile every single day. You know, we, I do have feelings just like everybody else have feelings, you know. But I just never seen nothing like it. You, you, you all don't see me smile for one day and then I got a, a, a face mask over my face. It gotta be something wrong. I mean, if I don't feel good, I just don't feel good. I'm not gonna force myself, even though I, I'm not gonna force myself to be like in this jolly mood, you know. But it, it's just sad, y'all. I'm just praying every day for growth. I'm praying every day that God lead me into a different direction. I know that since, um, last couple of, what last couple of, uh, months look like they've been opening up a, a lot of new restaurants here in memphis it's almost getting to the point where it just make me want to really just go back into the restaurant business for a while to um you know start saving money to start my own business or something like that because i'm just really getting you know tired um i have to you know put up with people and you know different personalities and stuff like that but yeah it's it's, it's been a great week i'm up in the park y'all have seen y'all i told y'all y'all have seen me in this park uh, quite a few times i had because this part like right down the street from Walgreens, so i didn't feel like walking back on the other end i was just said i just probably just catch the bus from the, on this end but yeah y'all i'm just sitting here um i probably see it feel pretty good i have brought my sweater with me i might put it back on on the counter i'm sitting in the park it's a little breeze but when I left work, it was it was real, real, um, what was that? Yeah, real, real hot. So I did bring me a sweater because it is, you know, it's kind of a little chilly. The weather is starting to change over, so. But yeah, y'all, I'm just sitting here. Um, don't have really much pain. Like I said, don't feel too good. I really wish I would have brought some, um, bought me some soup from, we had some soup at work, but I wasn't thinking I was just ready to get up, get up and go, so. Yeah, yeah. There's one place. Um, it's a restaurant right here across the street from this park. I'm sitting there. I, um, I think they just recently opened up. I probably have to check them out one day too. Um, on the early day like this, go sit down and eat. 
Yeah, but that, that'll be probably when I get out this no meat diet, because I told y'all, you know, I've been sticking to this no meat diet, I've been faithfully, so. Um, for breakfast, I end up um, at work, I have breakfast and lunch at work, so for lunch, I just ate um, some greens by itself, then for breakfast, I had some breakfast potatoes and scrambled eggs, but really, I know that since I've been doing this little no meat challenge diet, I really haven't really been just having no full appetite for nothing even, so. But I do plan on um, getting some vitamins. I said uh, when I, yeah, probably one day next week, I do plan on getting some vitamins, though, for my immune system, especially on the counter that I'm doing this no meat um, diet. Yeah. But yeah, y'all, I'll probably be tuning in. I don't know. I, I might see how much footage this is in the vlog. If, you know, I don't know if I plan on including any more footage just yet, because I know all this week is work and I really don't have anything planned. So I might end it right here, uh, end the vlog off right here. Cause like I say, this is just uh, basically a, a, a work week all this week. I really don't have, you know, much going on, but yeah. But yeah, yeah, I'll be tuning back in with you all though.